In the past 23 years, Turkey has been transformed into an industrial behemoth, and today its heavy industry sector is comparable to that of France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Surprisingly, it is also aggressively competing for the world's number six spot in weapons exports, and it is literally beating Israel, the world's third largest exporter of multi-purpose military drones. Nearly 35 countries use Turkish-made drones such as the Bayraktar TB2, which has proven to be quite effective in numerous war zones in the past few years, including Ukraine which actually supplies the engines for some of the drones made by Bayraktar despite the ongoing war. This colossal achievement in manufacturing weapons and other heavy industries was a result of Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's announcement when he first became prime minister of the country back in 2003. This led us to wonder how Turkey built the world's largest army of armed drones and why are these drones so popular? Today, the Turkish army is the second largest standing military force in NATO, after the US armed forces, and the 13th in the world. Mind you, the only reason it ranks 13th and not 6th or 7th is due to its lack of nuclear weapons, which it possesses indirectly via its NATO membership and US nuclear bases on its territories. Technically speaking, any army in the world that engages Europe in a non-nuclear war has to face the Turkish armed forces before facing the music of the US military. Ironically, this might sound odd and quite strange for many because Turkey is an Islamic country and nearly 96% of its 90 million residents are Muslim. Turkey is also obsessed with manufacturing its own weapons and does export a very wide range of modern military equipment and ammunition, such as the Altay main battle tank, the Terex infantry carrier vehicle, the Pars amphibious armored combat vehicle, the Tulper heavy infantry fighting vehicle, the Kaplan lightweight tank, the Barbaros class frigate, the TAI Augusta Westland T-129 ATAK all-weather attack helicopter, the Hussar family surface-to-air missile system, the T-155 self-propelled howitzer, the TAI Hurejet supersonic advanced trainer and lightweight combat aircraft, and you name it because this list goes on and on. Additionally, its army boasts more drones than all European nations combined with more than 200 TB2 and TB3 drones and countless other indigenous types such as the TAI Anka, TAI Anka 3, and TAI Axengur, which are expensive and quite advanced. Just to put things in perspective for you, the UK has a drone fleet of just 10 US-made Reapers that are two decades old. Mind you that even though the TB2 and TB3 cost five to eight million dollars, they feature some quite advanced technologies and are quite complex. Before we get into the details of Turkey's top military drones, we do have to tell you that there is only one university graduate behind this whole success in terms of engineering. A man whose master's thesis demonstrated an algorithm that could land an unmanned helicopter in very rough terrain and even vertically on a wall. The godfather of Turkey's military drone success is Selçuk Bayraktar. In 2005, Selçuk was a 26-year-old electrical engineering graduate from Turkey's top university. Two years later, he obtained a master's degree from the University of Pennsylvania, and a year later dropped out of an MIT doctorate program because he did not need it, because in his head, he built the next cutting-edge technology in warfare. Luckily, his family owned a firm called Bayraktar Makina, which was started by their father in 1984 to produce automobile components as part of Turkey's efforts to manufacture cars. By the 2000s, the company had begun to focus on unmanned aerial vehicles. He is, by all means, the godfather of Turkey's most advanced drones and related technologies. 
Economically speaking, military drones contribute the lion's share of Turkey's military industrial complex export revenues. According to official figures from 2022, Turkey hit a record $4.4 billion in drone exports, a figure that is ironically larger than some European countries' entire annual defense budgets. This fact drove the country's total arms exports in the same year to over $10 billion. Turkey is also projected to achieve more than $7 billion from drone deals by the end of 2023, which puts it head-to-head -head with the likes of China and America in drone exports. According to the Atlantic Council, Turkey is home to some 2,000 companies in the weapons manufacturing sector. In August of this year, the country landed a $4 billion deal that involved manufacturing of TB2 and TB3 drones in Saudi Arabia. Deals with numerous other countries range from the tens to billions of dollars. Let's now decipher some of the top and most exported Turkish drones. The drone that put Turkey on the map is the Bayraktar TB2 which is a medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. The aircraft is monitored and controlled by an aircrew in a ground control station, including weapons employment. In November 2021, the TB2 drone had completed 400,000 flight hours globally, leading it to become the flagship of the Turkish military. TB2 made its maiden flight in August 2014. On the 18th of December 2015, a video was published of a test firing of a missile from the Bayraktar TB2, and later tests included laser-guided bombs. The older version, TB1, relied on imported and regulated components and technologies such as Austria's Rotax 912 engines and Canadian Optoelectronics from Westcam, or Hensold from Germany. However, the TB2 and all its components are made in Turkey. The Bayraktar TB2 platform has a blended wing body design with an inverted V-tail structure. Thrust is generated by a variable pitch, two-blade propeller in pusher configuration. The propeller is mounted between the tail booms and driven by an internal combustion engine located in the body. The monocoque platform is modular with detachable main items such as wing, tail boom, and V-tails. The fuselage pieces are made mostly of carbon fiber composite with machined aluminum parts as joints. Fuel is stored within bladder tanks and fuel consumption is balanced with solenoid valves. The TB2 ground control station is based on a NATO spec shelter unit, which is equipped with cross-redundant command and control systems. The next generation Baykar Bayraktar drone is the Bayraktar TB3 UAV, made by Baykar despite the ongoing war. The TB3 is more advanced than the TB2 and is capable of short-range landing and takeoff. It was created for the purpose of deployment on Turkey's first aircraft carrier, TCG Anadolu, which is classified as an amphibious assault ship and is quite similar to Spain's Juan Carlos aircraft carrier. This makes the TB3 the naval version of the TB2. It is powered by an engine developed by the Turkish company, Tusaj Engine Industries. The drone has a length of 8.35 meters, a height of 2.6 meters, a wingspan of 14 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 1,450 kilograms, a payload capacity of 280 kilograms, and a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. In terms of avionics, it features interchangeable EO, IR, LD imaging, and targeting sensor systems or multi-mode AESA radar. The drone maker, Baycar, which is dominating the scene, is currently also rapidly developing its newest and most promising drone, the fighter UAV Kizilelma, which made its maiden flight in 2022. The Kizilelma is 14.6 meters long and has a 9.7 meter wingspan. It has an impressive range of 925 kilometers, an operational altitude of more than 10 kilometers, and a top speed of about 740 kilometers per hour. The fighter drone is also equipped with stealth technologies 
that include an angular design that gives it a low radar cross-section and an internal weapons bay. Other advanced features include an active electronically scanned array, an antenna enabling both line of sight and beyond line of sight control, and the ability to take off and land fully autonomously. It is powered by the subsonic AI-322F engine, which is made by the Ukrainian firm Ivchenko Progress, which continues to fill orders despite the ongoing war. The Kizilelma is expected to carry a range of weapons, including precision-guided munitions, air-to-air -air missiles, and cruise missiles produced by Turkish manufacturers. Other quite powerful Turkish drones include the TAI Aksungur and TAI Anka, which are made by Turkish Aerospace Inc. exclusively for the Turkish Armed Forces and are quite advanced, fast, and deadly. Do you think Turkey will be able to become one of the world's top three advanced military drone developers and exporters? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.